Hello Internet, and welcome to a new tutorial. In the last modular and site trans tutorial I've made, I've discussed how I use VCV as some sort of a secret weapon or a secret synthesizer to create unique textures and leads. And in that video, I've showed you how to create a really simple subtractive synthesizer. So now in this video, I'm going to show you how we'll expand this simple subtractive synthesizer to create a unique yet simple effective and powerful FM machine using only the fundamental modules. Now, what does this FM machine consist of? Well, first of all, a powerful FM generator, two, a bandpass filter, and that's gonna be a really fun thing to do because the fundamental modules doesn't have a bandpass filter, so we're going to create it from scratch. Plus, there's going to be random and fixed or like repetitive modulations. So, just to clear things up before we start, on the top row in here, I'm going to leave like the main, uh, let's say, sound generator in here. So there's going to be the main VCO, the main VCF, etc. And on the row like below it, I'm going to keep the modulations or like the hidden stuff that's going to help us create the sound, if that makes sense. So anyways, with that said, let's start expanding our synthesizer and creating this FM machine. So first of all, I'm going to take off this LFO, which is modulating the VCF. I'm going to keep it, we'll use it later on. But I just want a clean sound, like a clean saw that's coming from the VCO. Sounds like this. I know, nothing too special. Now, to create FM, we need um, something that will modulate the pitch of the first VCO. And nothing better to do this than another VCO. So this VCO in here, the second one, I'm going to keep it, you know, in the modulation section in here. I'm going to make it track the pitch with the volt per octave output from the MIDI to CV. Up. And by the way, before we dive even more into this tutorial, I really recommend that you watch the first part of this series, as I've already explained everything in that video, in case you didn't watch it. So anyways, now this VCO is tracking the pitch I'll be sending from Ableton Live. By the way, it's running in here on the background with the bridge plugin. So anyways, now what I want is to sync both oscillators so we'll get this gritty FM sound. And for this, I'm going to take the square output of the first of the modulator VCO in here and I'll stick it to the sync in here. And I'll leave the sync options to hard. I'll put it on soft later on to show you the difference. And now, I'm going to take the saw output in here, and I'll put it in the FM input of the first oscillator in here. And now, listen to what we'll get when I'll crank this FM CV knob in here. Yes, a gritty FM sound. Now, if I'll put the soft sync option in here, listen to the sound that you will get. Personally, I prefer when it's on hard, but you know, it's really up to you. You can do whatever you like. So now, now that we have our powerful FM generator, let's start creating our bandpass filter. So for this, I'm going to move these in here. I'll load up another VCF module in here. Now these VCFs or filters are actually modeled after the famous ladder filter from Moog as far as I know. So basically they are four pore filters. This will give us a 24 dB per octave bandpass filter. So what I'm going to do in here, I'll set the frequency to the default and to create this bandpass filter we're going to feed a low pass filter into a high pass filter to create the bandpass shape if that makes sense so basically i'll just set span in here and now this is what we have only with the low pass filter you know it'll just keep the low end and now If I'll feed it in this filter and I'll take the high pass filter out 
in here, look at what we'll create. The bandpass filter. So what we'll do in here, I'll just set to both filters to something like 1000 Hertz. And this is something really cool in VCV because we can be really precise and yet get this analog feeling to the sound. So, by the way, in case I went too fast, I fed the low pass filter into the high pass filter and I took the output of the high pass filter and, as, and I set it to the main VCA that we have in here. So now, look, listen to what we'll have. We got this curve in here. Now, what I'm going to do I'll crank the resonance up a little bit on the low pass filter because cranking the resonance on both filters will give us a lot of resonance and it won't be really beautiful but cranking the resonance on only one of the filters will get us really cool results and I'll drive the, uh, the high pass filter in here a bit to get a little bit more sound volume now, let's, now we got this, and now what I'm going to do, I'll modulate both filters with a random generator. And for this, I'm going to take the random module in here, and I'm going to take the noise module in here, too, from here. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'll give this random generator some white noise, so I'll put some white noise in it, so you know it'll be creating a really simple sample and hold sound. And I'm going to trigger it with the gate that we have, you know, from here, just like what I've done in the first video with the main ADSR in here. So every time I'll hit a node, the random generator will restart its cycle and give us a new random value, which is based on the white noise that we fed into it in here and now what I'll do to dose the uh, modulation that I'm going to give to both filters I'm going to use a VCA for that and this will help us like just give it the right amount of modulation so I'll take the step output from the random generator in here set it put it in the in of the VCA and I'll set the output of the VCA to modulate the frequency of both filters so they'll get modulated the same way and I'll crank the frequency CV in here or frequency controlled voltage to the maximum and like so we have one control for both modulations. That doesn't mean that we cannot bypass the VCA and create extremely unique modulations by offsetting the frequency CV knobs in here on the filters. Anyways, I'm going to set the random modulator in here to bipolar because it can be unipolar or bipolar and I want it to modulate in positive and negative values. And now, if I'll go to my Ableton Live and if I'll create a really simple pattern like so, And I'll just send a really simple ARP. Listen to what we'll get. Wait, that's a bit too fast. Let's get back to VCV in here. I have to set the shape of the random generator to zero exactly so it'll be stepped. And now we will get this. I know, still nothing too special. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll just double up the notes like so. Now listen to what we'll get. I just 
need to loop this pattern here. Now we have this. I know that's still nothing too special, but now listen to what we'll get. We'll take a new random generator in here, so I'll just duplicate it. You know what? I'll just put it right in here. So this random generator is going to modulate the pitch of the first VCO and listen to, if you modulate it manually, listen to what we'll get. By the way, I'll just take these notes one octave lower. Yeah, exactly, that's the kind of uh, character I was looking for. And now this, with this random modulator, I'll set the shape somewhere around on here. So this stepped output will be more as like a sample and glide kind of output. I'll put the scope in here and this will help us understand stuff even more. I have to set it to smooth in here. And Now look, when I'll crank that shape knob, look how it smoothed up the modulations. And I wanted to modulate in a smooth way the VCO. So I'll take the output again and I'll set it to FM in here. I'll just set it to like slower values, something like so. And now when I'll crank that FM CV, listen to what we'll get. I really love these kind of sounds. They're organic, they're unique, and they're a bit hard to get with other type of synthesizers. And now what I'm going to do, I want to smooth up the modulation on both VCFs and for this I'm going to use the LFO. You know, to smooth up the randomness, I don't want to play with the shape like what we've done in here, but I've actually, I want to mix the random output with the LFO because I prefer that kind of smoothed up modulation, let's say. Plus we will get the, we can play with the rate of the LFO and this will give us even more possibilities. So for this, I'm going to add a mixer in here. And this will do exactly the job of the VCA, but it's going to, you know, mix the random and the LFO together. So I'll just take the output of the mixer, I'll set it to modulate both filters, just like with the VCA. And I'll set the output of the random modulator, I'll just put it in here in the in of the first channel, I'll take off this VCA. And now what I'm going to do, I'll put the LFO in here, I'm going to take the output of the triangle, I'll set it to channel 2, and now if I'll take the tri triangle all the way down, listen to what we'll get. Let's just take off the uh, FM modulation here for a second to hear better what's happening with the VCF. And now let's add the LFO. I'm just going to set the VCFs to 700 Hertz. Now we have this. So without the LFO, 
With the LFO. And now let's remodulate the VCO with the random generator in here. One last modulation I want to add. I'm going to add another random modulation in here. I'm going to trigger it. You know, I'll just set it in here. I'm going to trigger it with the gate. By the way, one lovely thing about VCV rack is that as far as I know, we can multiply the cables as much as we want and that won't affect the modulation. But you know, in real world scenarios, we, we have to use multipliers because you know, every time we'll multiply the signal, the voltage is going to be slip, split in half, you know, if that makes sense. So anyways, let's set the shape again to zero in here. Let's take the white output and feed it into the random generator. Oh, by the way, the trigger should be set in here. And now I'm going to take the stepped modulation. I'm going to make it, I'm going to feed it through a VCA to control the intensity of the effect. Like so. And I'm going to make it modulate the decay of our ADSR in here to get like a, to get some sort of a groove. And now listen to what we'll get. I'm going to Take the VCA down here. I'm going to set it to something really clicky, the ADSR, like so. And now I'm going to modulate it with this random generator. And now let's give this channel some delay and let's listen to how will it sound with the kick and bass. And with this, this is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you've liked it. I really hope you've learned something new. And if so, and you want to help me make more tutorials, more psychedelic music, please consider becoming one of my patrons, subscribing and liking the video. Have a great one.